Love is grand, no doubt about it. And if you are planning to get married, that's great. But don't be fooled. Our next guest says marriage is really a business transaction. Oksana Holder, an attorney at Davis Foss Blaze, she is here to educate us this morning on premarital planning. Great to have you here. Thank you. What is the first thing that you recommend folks who are deciding to take the plunge and say, I do? What's the first thing we should do? Well, I think the first thing um, you should check into your future spouse's financial financial health. Check if your future spouse has bankruptcy record, criminal record, or maybe um, check if there are any outstanding judgments. Check his credit history and uh, any premarital debt because um, parties should understand that premarital debt will carry into your community. Right. So if you have a joint account and the creditor from the past comes in, the creditor can garnish that joint account and it will be really, really hard to prove which money was earned by you and which money was earned by the spouse. Ah, very good point. Yeah, I know you know this, Oksana. That's kind of a difficult conversation at times to get started, but you said Correct. we need to start that dialogue right away. Yes, and I believe it could be an open table discussion. So if it would be me, I would just bring my records to the table and say, hey, this is what I have. Those are my skeletons and tell me about yours. And I don't think it will be a problem. I agree. Now, how important is having that conversation about children? Uh, very important because uh, if it is uh, a deal breaker for you that you must have children, I believe you should discuss this before you sign a marriage license. Because I had a few cases where wife was misled about having the children and then she found out that husband doesn't have doesn't want to have any so and that was a failure of the marriage so i think you should discuss that first if right. that's important to you again another one of those first date conversations that we have to get going and i'm sure that you you find a lot of couples who had they just had that quick conversation they wouldn't end up here so Correct. let's talk about the prenuptial agreement do we need that uh, yes and no, it depends on the couple. So for some reason, there is a misconception that prenuptial agreements are good only for mega rich people and celebrities. That's not the case. I believe if you have some assets you're bringing into the marriage, which will grow, or you have an existing marriage uh, business, which was started before the marriage, you have to have a prenuptial agreement. Oh. It's a must. Okay. And you can do so many things with a prenup. It's basically your scenario for divorce in case if that happens, mm -hmm. and it's a smart thing to do. You can shield yourself from liability. You can talk about it beforehand, saying that unless my signature is on the paperwork, I'm not liable for this and that. Because without the prenup, one spouse can bind the community into certain uh, legal dealings. Right, and what about money that is owed? How, how do you put that in there as far as like if you're gonna get paid after? Well, that's another thing. So if you are contemplating that one spouse, uh, hypothetically that would be a wife, will stay home with the children, right. I think it would be smart to discuss future spousal maintenance. Because if it would be a working spouse just like me who is quitting her career for a year or two to stay home with the children, uh, I would like some kind of clause in the prenup that I will get compensated in the event of the divorce for years I spend at home and, um, you know. That's very good, that's, that's good protection. Correct. Is putting a prenuptial agreement together expensive? Because you said, you know, many people just think it's for the celebrities. Uh, I th not really, and I think it would be more expensive not to do it because uh, it will cost you many, many times more to yeah. litigate those issues in the divorce. Absolutely. And just so you know, spousal maintenance is one of the issue, one of the most expensive issues to litigate. Right, so when we come to see you, you'll kind of talk us through that? Yes, I will. Perfect, because a lot of people are probably like, I don't know how to, where to begin this conversation. Correct. Wonderful, thank you so much. Great thank information, you. and we're gonna be back with a second segment uh, with David Foss uh, Blaze coming up. They are located at 11111 North Scottsdale Road, Suite 225. That is Neil Scottsdale and Shay. The phone number to call if you would like to start this dialogue, 602-279-1900. The website is dfbfamilylaw.com.